Pace slash Dayton back again. Hey, uh, I got a very interesting story here, and this is a true story here. This is uh, actually a story that dates back way back from, I would say, the summer of uh, summer of '83. I was only about <laughs> about 14, 15 years old, and uh, you can see some some military vehicles over there. But uh, anyways, I was about 14 or 15 years old, and uh, I come through here, me and my friends come up here a couple times, and um, this is a military base right here. It's all locked up in this fence here, but there's a lot of military vehicles right here. And uh, there's a walking trail up through here, and an old quarry, an old quarry mine up here that's abandoned from years ago and uh, there's places up here where you can go swimming up here actually and uh, pretty sure you can or at least you should be able to what 30 years ago or so when I came up through here now I haven't been here for like almost oh yeah I'd say it's been about 30 something years since I've been here it's been a long time and for one reason the last time I was here like I said I was about 13 or 14 years old and this place is a little different now up there a little ways a baseball field and there's actually a little league baseball game going on right now way up there and uh, right up in the entrance and I'm parked right over there my little truck is right there and uh, anyway get back to the story when I was a teenager we come through here about five of us guys and about five or six girls and we come up through here and there's a trail right up through here and I'm going to have to stop recording now when I get there I'll show you uh, the area where me and my friends were walking up through here now uh, this is a long time ago and uh, like I said this is the first time I've been back here since and uh, the girls started screaming and uh, they said they saw a guy in the woods so me and my friends we started looking in the woods and we seen this dude laying on the ground and it looked like he, we thought he was drunk or something like that Come to find out, this guy wasn't moving. We're yelling, you know, hey, dude, wake up, you know. We thought he's passed out because we knew there was a lot of people that go up here camping and stuff. And uh, come to find out, uh, the dude was dead. And we walked up to him. The girls are all flipping out, you know, and uh, screaming and hollering and stuff. And so me and my friend, we walked up to the dude and noticed he was like half naked his pants down to his ankles and this story gets a little graphic and I'll try not to get too graphic about it but uh, uh he had a slash in the back of his head and uh looks like he was hit in the back of the head because he had a big wound in the back of the head and it was an older guy probably I don't know his 40s or 50s you know we're talking 30 years ago and uh we didn't really get a good look at him because we were kind of like freaking out and and uh, so anyway we told uh, one of the girls and, and I think one of the guys to run back down to down this, down this trail over here and go to one of the houses and call the cops that we found a dead body over here and uh, yeah, and it was right up through these woods up in here and uh, man cops came and told us that we couldn't go up there swimming because uh, they think the killer might still be in the woods they didn't have no idea and uh, so it looked like the body was there for a couple days from what they said so we uh, still couldn't go up there so we had to turn around next day of course we were all in the paper and stuff and I'd like to look up that article someday I will and uh, the next day we find out that the story was that uh, the guy was up here camping and he had a young boy with him and made a pass at that young boy and he was a teenage boy I guess around our age and uh, I guess uh, that guy made a pass on that young boy and the young boy picked up an axe and hit him in the back of the head killed him well that young boy got trial for manslaughter and uh, was sent to a boys home till he turned 18 and then had to go to a prison till he turned 21 now that young boy that did that was 
to me that was self-defense but he still got manslaughter charged with manslaughter and uh, there's some people coming up right there so I want to tell my story before I shut off here and uh, one of my buddies got into trouble the one that was with me that found that dead body and uh, he got into trouble a couple years later and then called me and said hey Steve I'm in I'm in the boys home up here in a couple towns up here in Portland and uh and I'm in the same cell as the kid that that killed that body that we found I was like oh my word what a coincidence man that was just a, it was just a weird story man that he would be in the same boys home as the dude that he killed man what a story so I'm gonna go up through here and if I find the site I'll get back to you Hey, Slash Dayton, back again. Hey, uh, I don't have much memory left, so I really gotta make this quick. But this is the spot right here. Man, me and my friends, <laughs> over 30 years ago, I just bumped into a buddy too. Actually, he's uh, my realtor. He's one of my friends from years ago, and he uh, got into realty, and he's actually the one to help me buy my house, but uh, I didn't want to record him because, uh, you know, it's a little awkward. And uh, I told him the story a little bit though about it, but I come through here, all of our friends would come up through this trail, but we were coming this way of course, going up to the, the quarries, and I'll take some video shots of that over there too. But uh, the body was right in here, man. I know for sure this is where it was. I remember it now. And uh, I think the guy was like right up over here. I'm gonna do some metal detecting over here. <laughs> Maybe I'll find the the murder weapon, but no, I doubt it. Uh, it was right there, right by that tree, right on this little embankment right here. The guy was laying right in here. He must have been camping in this little spot right here. Or something, I don't know, I'm chopping wood because he had an axe. It was right here. With me and my friends on a dead body. Man, I'll never forget it. I wonder if there's any like wood that's where they were chopping wood or something. I love the blue tag right there. Hmm. Yeah, but it was like right here. Up against this little hill side. Oh man. It's trippy being here for all these years. What time it was back in the 80s, early 80s too. Man. <sighs> yep. What a time it was. Just a bunch of me and my friends and some girls trying to go up there and have some fun. And our day got ruined. Finding a dead body. I'm going to metal detect right over here, just, just for kicks. If I find anything, I'll, I'll start recording. Hmm. Right there. Slash Dayton. Hey, this is the place. I don't think I got any memory, but I'm going to try. This is the place where we were supposed to come to. It's called the quarries. But uh, there's a little water hole right over here. Get a piece of dive off this. We didn't make it this far. That's about, geez, half a mile up the trail. But uh, nice place though. I haven't found anything yet. It's a lot of old bullets. That's about it. Hey, Slash Dayton. Check out this place, man. Oh, this place is awesome. This is a. Uh, quarries, micro, uh, micro mines here, uh, and uh, used to be an old, it's abandoned quarry, and uh, a lot of people used to come here jumping and stuff, off these cliffs and stuff over here, so I'm about half a mile up the trail, and uh, I had to start recording on my phone because my camcorder died, because uh, all the film I've been doing, but uh, this place is real beautiful. I don't have much time on this phone here because it only records up to about a minute or two or something like that. 
So, uh, look what I found over here. I started coming over here. I haven't found anything but a lot of bullets. A little bit of clad. But about, oh, it was kind of deep. About six inches deep here. Found a Merc. Another Merc. Ain't that awesome? It's a little dirty. I can't focus in here. But, uh, looks like a 41. Or something like that. I think. I don't know. There it is. But, uh, still nice. Awesome. Found some silver. Made my day. All worth it coming up here. That means, guess what? I'll be back. Look at this place. It's beautiful. What a nice day. That made my day.